All right, I got some more for you. We we flying oh, through them here. All right, let's go with this. This show, we got to stop this show right here. We got to stop this show. This show needs to see popping your balloon for Brian. Hey, Brian, I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto too, so I like them a little loose, and um, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. You're 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Because mm -hmm. it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No, I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's no man in my life. Okay. No man in your life? Nope. Why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. So, what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? <laughs> Something. Mm. <laughs> Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Possibly, but I think I'm just fine. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right, but to say that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants. You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. You know, with everything going on, I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where are you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, I had to get that one in because it was Kansas City. I just wanted to <laughs> level set it out. <laughs> this balloon show, man. I don't know. This I know is, somebody that went. I'm gonna have to send you the clip. Oh, is you know somebody that was on there? Yes. Because it's out of Phoenix, right? I I don't know where it's from. I, I looked it up. I think they're out of Phoenix. First of all, she should have said something about that Roberta Cavalli shirt that he had on. <laughs> it's giving it's not it's giving fake and maybe it was Cavalli like I, you know there's tears to mm -hmm. different brands but I'm like I'm gonna say this. I, I can see how she said okay your style isn't necessarily my style or whatever he seemed like a nice guy Oh, uh, I mean, he, though he indirectly read her, he was still nice about it. And, you know, asking the questions, he we, he wasn't condescending to her or anything, right? Uh -huh. I just, I don't know if I could go, like, and I'm a confident person. But, you know, people sometimes, we've seen them get really kind of crazy, you know, with people. When they pop the balloon, you have the one girl have somebody pop her balloon and you know, all those different things. So you got to really have thick skin to be on the show. And, you know, it's probably part of it is embellished a little bit, of course. But he That's was, the devil to me. he was, he <laughs> was, okay. That go back to kind of what Nick, uh, Umar was saying to Nick. You got you having these kids, you're not create you're not creating a home for them. You got, you know, unfortunately, like she said, the, the oldest kid father passed away. Um and you now a single mom, you don't even know where the men are. So it's I'm I'm keeping the same energy for both. And that's mm -hmm. not being judgmental. That's just being real. We we, yeah, we if you're, gonna, if you're gonna give Nick that smoke like that. Yeah, get, get, she she is getting the smoke too, because it's you being irresponsible. Birth control is available. Uh, spermicides, different forms of contraception. You got condoms. You got condoms that are lambskin and different technological things that are happening regarding that area, and it's like. You knew the first guy left you. And uh, let, let's give it a benefit. That. Let's say he passed while the baby was the, the baby. No, was no, 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 no. I'm sorry. The second guy, the second guy. Yeah. And then you turn around and do it again. And then you wasn't even, you didn't even do nothing to try to, try to prevent it from happening. And I don't want to, like, I, 
I'm people, somebody is probably in the comments. You're 37 without kids. Yeah, that's a choice. <laughs> and do I ultimately want kids? Yes, but I also would like to have a partner that is a you know potentially my lifelong partner. Y'all have babies by these niggas, and you know ain't worth shit and ain't gonna stick around. And, and, and you know, here's the crazy thing is that my my mom, my, my you know, like, and this is an old school message. A lot of times a, a lot a guy ain't gonna fuck with me because they know I ain't got kids, they'll go mess with somebody that has kids because they know they fucking. I mean, but I'm putting it back on the men too. It's like if you not, if you know you're not going to stick around. But that's a power I'm, thing for some people. Like they want to be able to say they got the person. Like they don't. They want an injured person so they can always have power over them. Of like, so some dudes will want old girl with three kids, and I'm not uh, for nefarious reasons. Like, oh well, then, so if I if I scoop her, up, she ain't going nowhere. Regardless what I do, because I saved her. Mm -hmm. Or a woman the opposite way. Like, oh, I'm gonna get this one dude. He ain't got everything popping. Because if I get him right. He can't leave me because I, I I basically have the control over you because yeah. you ain't have shit. And some people like that control. Yeah. You know. That's why I always tell some young ladies, man, like, watch out for a dude that's really trying to like overly be trying to take care of you, like where it's like, oh uh, mm -hmm. like it sounds good until you used to him paying everything in your life and you set up your life and got comfortable that he's paying a hundred percent and he sweeped that rug from up under your ass and now you sitting there like damn what what can what can i do to keep you it's a manipulative shit well if you have a job you should have money stacked away and always look, have a rainy day but, account hold on. let's keep it real some of them same people that be like i want my yeah. man to pay 100 percent, and there's nothing wrong with that one i'm not getting to that argument you ain't saving their money they tricking yeah. it on the shoes and all the, the, uh, the luxury things they want. They ain't stacking up like you saying, Dom. Let's keep it real. Baby, because I would be stacked. Right, but 80% of the women would not. Let's keep it yeah. real. Stacked. I know. Commas, 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 zero, zeros. But I'm telling you, most of them not. They like, uh, girl, I got that $100,000 Hermes bag because I just got, because uh, I'm here, used to my dude paying up everything. I'm here good. Hermes, I'm you know, that's how y'all know I ain't stylish. That's why I will go on there. First of all, I would never like first of all, I'm never going on no bullshit like that ever in my life. No balloon popping thing. While we have this conversation. Look, as I'll be on there, I'll be on there. First of all, I would either 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 I would either take the super super uh nice guy role, like okay, that's cool, sweetheart. You know, it's all good. Or I'm gonna go Darth Vader on you and be like, just looking at, uh, I'm tomorrow, I'm reading everyone before they pop their balloons. I'll walk in. I'm reading. I'm getting ready to fire. I'm just got the fire, but I'm probably not. That's old D. That's pre uh, 2010 D. We just yeah. get to shoot the machine gun off. But no, I just uh, it, it's no serves you nothing at all but entertainment for someone else. And I'm not yeah. doing that. I'm not just, doing that. Yeah, I mean, and I, I just. Brad, if I be, and, and, and I don't know if I do so understand it. No, if you're going to be a nice dude, I wouldn't even care if all the girls pop their balloon on me. If I just look like a decent dude to have a different, d decent swag about me, the girl's going to be in my DMs anywhere after the show. So it doesn't right. matter what y'all feel. And that happened with one of the guys. And it was something about it was they, she was like, oh, I just didn't really like his outfit. He wasn't stylish or whatever. And he, he was, was like a lawyer or something, right? Oh, he yeah, just like, and he ended up being like a blurred, like a nerd, like but he yeah. like was, you know, like a nice guy had his shit together. And I, I'm trying to think if they ultimately ended up going out. He ended up going out with somebody, uh, and and you know, like in, in a full on relationship now. But it's just like y'all be so quick to judge a guy, by, you know, like book by his cover. Though I did say I hated that Cavalli shirt, I did, I did, and I'm standing on. Does it know? Does bother me you as much? Does like you would know? Oh, I could change his style. I can just get him to go buy this, this, and this, and yeah, get him I exactly like, what I want to look. I don't like, yeah, I was like, I don't like your outfit, but um, I'm gonna go out with you, and at some point, like I've I've dated men before that was just like, can you help, you know, help me with my style? I was like, yes, I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yes, you have to ask. I was just gonna say, meet me here or whatever. But I think I think we get caught up on little things like that sometimes. Like it's certain stuff that I'm pretty sure I got that my nigga don't like or. 
if he got something I don't like, whatever. But when, I'm like, oh. But also, I'm like, but the, I'm not, I didn't. I'm trying to think back to, I remember what he had on. But I was like, whew. But yeah, he looked nice. Now, after that, down the line, some questions. I said, so that, 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 that was the, that was the choice? Okay. And I just keep it moving. But I'm not, if a guy like comes up to me and starts talking or whatever, and we're getting to know each other, you know, I'm not going to be like, I want to talk to you because your outfit is ugly. Like you said, that's superficial. That's something you can fix. I'm more caught up in the character flaws because we're grown. Exactly. We're grown. There are some things that you just can't change about a person. And I know people always like, you know, people change from who they want to. I said, no, nah, sometimes it'd be stuff engraved. And I and am I willing to spend the time and the energy years and years to reverse help them unlearn? They gotta want that. That's different. That's a different type of ugh. Hey y'all, if y'all like what y'all see here on Everyone Needs an Aquarius, be sure to like, subscribe, and share our podcast with your friends because we got all the tea. And you know, if you want to check out more stuff from us, be sure to hit that button right there, right there on the right side so you can see other stuff and again, share, share it with everybody.